product um, or our project's name is Aqua Sentinel. Um, the goal of the product is to um, detect um, dangers and hazards near pool uh, areas. So for example, running an active and or passive drowning. So different types of drownings. Um, so Aqua Sentinel, the future of drowning by the Mary Mockingbird. So these are all the names of the people in our group. So we have Mela, we have me, Arev, there's Noah and there's Rima. Um, next up, we have a trailer that we'd like to show you. Share audio. Sorry, can you get, can you hear the audio? No. We cannot. Do you know oh, sorry. how to share? Yes, yes, I got it. Thank okay. You. okay. I thought I was sure. 3,500. In the U.S., an average of 3,500 to 4,000 people drown per year. That is an average of 10 fatal drownings per day. A 15-year-old drowned earlier today at Sandy Hook Beach. And pulled from the ocean while on vacation in Myrtle Beach. Heroes this morning after saving another child. But fortunately, it's not all doom and gloom. Now presenting the Aqua Sentinel, the future of drowning. Our model detects dangerous situations in and around the pool with a 92% accuracy, including running on the pool deck, active drowning, and passive drowning. Go try Aqua Sentinel now and have the ability to save lives at your fingertips. Without Aqua Sentinel, I would be dead. So, um, that is excuse me that is pretty much our trailer so. in the u.s to the next slide um, um it's okay so um one of the um a main reason that we chose this topic is because it's a really prevalent issue that happens a lot and a really um sad fact is drowning is the third leading cause of unintentional injury injury and death worldwide um accounting for seven percent of all injury related deaths so um this kind of fact kind of shocked us a lot and we were like wanted to create a model that was helping people and um could also be used in the real world. So that's why we use like these kind of statistics to really show that this model could be used um, in the real world. So I'd like you guys to imagine this. So the sun is shining and the pool is glimmering and um, you smell sunscreen everywhere, like uh, any pool. And the kids are playing in the pool, and it seems like a perfect summer experience, but it isn't perfect, unfortunately. One of the kids you see that you thought were playing around, uh, they suddenly began gasping for air, struggling in the water, and then their, their head sinks under the water. But fortunately, you're a certified lifeguard, and you jump in quickly and save the kid. But just imagine what could have happened if you were not there. A lot of instances, there are times where there are no lifeguard on duty either because of low staff or just um just swim at your own risk pools and this could be really dangerous uh for for kids that are unsupervised or don't know how to swim yet so that's why we uh, we made this model so that it can detect when there's no lifeguard or the lifeguards either negligent or not paying attention Okay, so the problem, which Mayla already covered, is that close to 10 people die every day from unintentional drowning. On average, two of them are under the age of 14. The main causes of drowning is swimming in an unsupervised area, slow reaction times of lifeguards, and a distracted lifeguard. Um, our solution is that our model will always be running providing safety in and around pools 24 seven. Currently, our model can detect an active or passive drowner 92% of the time. 
whereas lifeguards can detect drowning only 77% of the time. AI models don't get distracted unlike humans. They are effective and can focus on something forever if allowed. Um, our model will make lifeguard work easier by taking some of the weight off of the lifeguard's workload. Aqua Sentinel could be the difference between life and death. So while lifeguards play a crucial role in mitigating these in, uh, incidents and um, uh, accidents, these there are incidents where um, when pools and beaches remain unsupervised, um, there are no lifeguards there. And that's the purpose of this AI model to identify hazards when um, there are no lifeguards around the pool or when lifeguards are not, uh, are not able to detect something so that it could prevent fatal injuries and or deaths. So um, this is our data collection. So our data set was actually made by our, our uh, we made it ourselves because we couldn't find a very specific data uh, set on this topic. So an example of results would be, so what we did in the end was we got rid of the safe category um, completely. So um, if it was safe, it would just show nothing and there would be no label on the picture. Um, passive drowning would be, uh, the example on the right, uh, top right, actually. So a possible passive drowner. So because of the wine glass, there's a quote, don't drink and swim. Um, there's also a running kid part in which um, it detects running and there's also active drowning. Now in the data collection part, um, something interesting that we did was we used AI generated images to train the AI model. So um, that's what we did. Um, so, um, the reason we actually removed safe was because since it's an object classification model, um, what we really had to do was, um, sorry, object detection model. What we really had, uh, it was confusing the safe with the background, which was really reducing the MAP 50 for that. So we really had to reduce that. So with the data augmentation, uh, we used a few filters to augmentate our data, um, and some of those filters were the blur, uh, the grayscale, rotation, saturation, brightness, exposure, and noise. Noise. We used all that to uh, alter our data to help with uh, our MAP score. So um, this is the result for our best training um, and the details. So the amount of images we had was approximately 1,500. The epochs was 200. Training duration was 47 minutes. Bat size was 16. The optimizer we used in this case was Adam. And the MAP 50. So um, again, we got rid of the bottom safe data over, or down here. So without this 34.3% or 0.343, the average we get from all of these is technically 92.7% or 0.927. Um, Again, I already mentioned we did this because we checked the confusion matrix and we were able to find out that it was confusing the safe and the background. So which is why we eventually got rid of it. So now we would like to talk a little bit about our website. Um, so how was it made? It was made um, with various technologies and or libraries using Flask, um, CSS, HTML. We also utilized OpenCV, um, the backend, Um, he seems to be having internet connectivity issues. Is there someone from his group who could possibly take over this slide? Yeah, I can do it. So some of the um, technologies that we, oh, okay. Let I can take care of the screen share. Oh, okay, you got it, okay. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I got disconnected um, somehow. So um, I'll just quickly share my screen over again. Noah, can you just. Okay. Never mind. Um, Noah is good. So um, the features that our um, website offers is. No. Yeah. Next slide, please. Thank you. Um, so the features that our website offers is the upload feature. So you can take a picture, upload it. Um, the website will uh, analyze the picture. It will put a label on the picture. And along with the label, it will also give you the appropriate remedy for the situation that is being um, displayed. So say if a person is ru running, it's going to give you the appropriate actions and measures that need to be taken. Um, next, we have a webcam slash surveillance feature. So this can actually uh, give you the chance to provide live footage and it will put in the correct labels. Next is, like I said, advised course of action in emergency. So it's gonna give you the right remedy or the appropriate measure that needs to be taken. And the fourth one is newsletter. So um, we used uh, a template. It already had a newsletter feature to it. Um, we just had to write some back in Python code and embed that with the website. So when you put in your email, you actually get subscribed to the Aqua Sentinels newsletter. So which you may or may not get monthly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just covered this. So you upload a picture of a beach uh, or pool em environment. The model is going to detect what is occurring. It's going to label the picture or image, and then it's simply going to give you the actions that need to be taken. So um, the quote, artificial intelligence usually beats natural stupidity um, was something that we kind of use in ours. So like it was something that we were using. So in the concept of negligence, especially when um, say a lifeguard is just neglecting someone drowning or someone needs help, that is what we consider natural stupidity or just mean behavior in general. So um, that was the one. Um, next slide, please. And Programmers are machines that convert coffee into code. This is literally my life at the moment because um, I am in India right now. So I have a 12 hour, it's completely flipped for me. I'm up 24 hours a day, thanks to coffee. Um, next slide, please. Okay, the demo for our website. Um, can you please stop sharing your screen? Okay, so that was our presentation. Um, now we would like to show you a demo of our website. So a quick run through. So this is our website, aquasentinels.com. Um, it is being run locally. So I hope you can see this. So Aqua Sentinels, um, this is our home screen. So an advanced computer vision model engineered to discern secure conditions within and in the vicinity of swimming facilities. Um, the future of drowning. This was actually our main quote about the thing because it, it came out as a joke that it's the future of drowning, but then we it, it really stuck with us stuck with me in specific, um, how it works. So computer vision allowed us to train several models on recognizing unsafe situations uh, in and around the pool setting. So um, whatever I just described in the presentation. So if a person uh, is actively or passively drowning, okay, the model will highlight that um, location and put a bounding box around it. Um, this allows the lifeguard or responder to know exactly where and what the problem is, um, which leads to a better reaction time. And it also gives the in case the lifeguard is not there, it gives others um, it gives others what actions need to be taken. Um, this is the email feature. So, Mr. Thomas, uh, may I please know your email if you're willing to give it, share it? If not, sure. that's fine. It's it's T P E L O W I T Z at the same thing dot com. So at tpelowitz dot com. Can you just check that email? I sure can. And notify me. So, yep, you should get that email very soon. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Did you get it? I I did. Awesome. And for those of you who don't know what the email looks like, um, I have one on my screen as well. So it's more of a, hey there, um, this is Bob from Aqua Sentinels, emailing you in regards to welcoming you to the Aqua Sentinels community, where we strive to make life thrive. This is a confirmation that you have successfully subscribed to the monthly newsletter of Aqua Sentinels. 
where you will receive the latest updates about recently drowned people. We will also be sending out promotions for our latest products. Sincerely, Bob from Aqua Sentinels. That is a small cherry on top feature that we decided to add in the end. Um, next thing I want to show is our model. So it just take that's literally the project tab over there. So this is what I was talking about. You can upload a picture. So these are pictures that we did not include in our data set. So I would just choose to say the ch children running picture and submit that. And what it's going to do is that it's going to, I'm going to scroll down. So this is actually a stock picture. So that, that's why there are watermarks, but it's going to put a bounding box around the person who's running. It's going to say running. And down here, it's going to tell what you need to do. So if a lifeguard is on duty, inform them immediately. If there's no lifeguard on duty, approach the person and kindly inv uh, uh, inform them about the safety risks. Okay. So these are the things you can tell them. If necessary, remind them of any posted signs. If the person complies and stops running, okay, um, monitor the area to ensure that safety guidelines are being followed, okay. If the person continues to disregard the safety advice, consider informing the pool management, okay. So this is like a very basic remedy that it's going to give you. Um, next, I would, uh, for this, I need to turn off my camera, so please excuse me. Next, we have the live demo. So um, what this is going to do is it's, well, technically, it's just going to put your camera over there. So um, unfortunately, it's lagging a lot at the moment because my system does not have a GPU. Um, however, so um, it's just in case, say, um, I do have a person who is running at the moment. So I'm just going to pull up uh, a running uh, a picture of a running person on the phone, and I'm going to put it on the screen, OK? So um, in that case, what it's going to do is uh, it's going to go live. And well, technically, this is live footage. And what it's going to do is um, it's going to put a bounding box around that picture. So I don't know if that's going to work. It's been working for the past while. Nope, that's not right. OK, so for now, I guess we can just leave it since it's not working. Um, however, that does work. Um, live footage, we have tested that out multiple times. Um, next, I would like to go to the final section, which is the About Us section. So um, in this section, we talk about a lot about our team, some quotes. So our instructor, Mr. Zong Sang, um, interesting quote. One of my favorites, actually. Um, Rima, it's too early for this. Mela is just Mela. Noah got a 3060. And this is a quote that kind of stuck with the don't drink and swim one. So I'm actually going to stick with that one. Um, so this is our amazing team with pictures this time. So Mr. Zong Zeng, best mentor in all of AI camp. I don't think you can argue against that at all. Um, Rima, sarcastic, loves picking on others, is never fully awake. Kind, bossy, loves the idea of kids drowning. Chill, gamer, enjoys that he gets his 3060 graphics card and easy to pick on, programming ways, and I'm a psychopathic perfectionist. So um, this is our website and this is our project. So the Aqua Sentinel, thank you very much.